My name is Nick Bonning. I'm a field agronomist for Pioneer in Central and Eastern Missouri. Today I just want to do a little show and tell. So a lot of us hear a lot about fallow corn syndrome, but not a lot of us actually ever see it. Missouri last year we had a lot of prevent plant acres, we had a lot of flooded acres in the river bottoms. And so what can happen with fallow corn syndrome is there's a population, a mycorrhizal population in the soil, call it VAM for short, that helps that plant get all the phosphorus, all the zinc that it needs. When you don't have a crop growing there the year before, that population goes down and you can see stunted corn from that fallow corn syndrome. And that's the case in this field that I'm standing in right now in the river bottom. The grower had corn planted here the year before. It got flooded out. He came in mid to late July. He was able to plant soybeans in the part of the field, but couldn't get them planted in all the field just from being too wet. And you can see that line off to my right, your left, where the corn looks to be on one side of the line is definitely taller. It's one leaf stage ahead versus the other side of the line where we have that stunted fallow corn. So it's a perfect correlation, especially you look at satellite imagery, you can look at drone footage, you can see perfectly correlated where we got beans planted last year versus where we didn't. So just evidence, number one, that fallow corn syndrome is real. And then number two that you should do, if you find yourself in a prevent plant or a flooded situation, you should do all you can to get a crop planted there that year, whether that's oats, whether that's soybeans, whether that's maybe some other type of grass cover crop, something that is a host to that van fungi just to avoid fallow corn syndrome the next year. You can also use things like starter phosphorus, but the easiest thing is to get a cover crop or a soybean crop planted the, there the year before. One thing about with fallow corn syndrome, once you see it, there's really no proven rescue option for it. All you can do is learn from it and wait for it to come out of it. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a very productive 2020 growing season. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.